At the time of delivery, check that the equipment is in good condition before signing the receipt. If you notice any damage to the box, unpack the product in the presence of the carrier. If there is visible damage to the machine, take photos and write transport damage on the delivery slip and notify us. In the reception basket, you will find the instruction manual as well as two pairs of keys. The ones in a bag are for opening the coin compartment. The others are for opening the door. Turn the handle to the right while pushing the door and pull. The same process applies to closing the door without damaging the latches. Turn the handle before closing. Before positioning the vending machine in its location, the deflector must be installed. You will find it in a drawer inside the machine. Loosen the four screws at the bottom of the grid slightly. Insert the deflector and readjust the screws. Installing the deflector is a crucial step to facilitate the evacuation of hot air from the compressor. Unscrew the back plate. The power cable is inside. It is important to plug the vending machine alone into a circuit of at least 15 amps. Be careful, never use an extension or a power bar. It is recommended to check the polarity of the electrical outlet. You can now position the machine in its location while keeping a minimum space of 6 inches from the wall. If these instructions are not followed, significant damage to the refrigeration systems could occur and this is not covered by the warranty. To level the vending machine, follow these steps. Unscrew the leg on the side of the door to create a gap with the floor. Level each side of the machine by adjusting the other three legs. Finally, adjust the leg on the door side until the vending machine is stable and no longer moves. If there is too much weight on this leg, the door will not close properly. It is important to repeat this process each time you move the vending machine. Before powering on the vending machine, follow these steps to install the card reader. Gently unpack the card reader. Locate the four bolts and remove the nuts using a 7mm socket wrench. Align and insert the card reader. Securely replace the nuts. To power on the vending machine, locate the switch at the bottom right labeled Circuit Breaker. Slide your fingers under the plastic cover. Push upward and remove it gently. Fill the designated spaces with coins, ensuring you stay within the maximum capacity below the 100% line. Ensure that the coins at the bottom are perfectly aligned in the tubes. Replace the compartment and the coin count will be approximately calculated automatically. Slide the blue button forward and lift the casing to remove it. Raise the lid and pull on the tray. This is where you can remove the bills. Reposition the casing by aligning it with the inserts. Before filling the machine, remove the drawer protection bar by simply unscrewing it. Keep it in case of relocation. You can now fill your vending machine with the desired products. Open the drawers to facilitate placement. For proper operation, position the products between the spirals.
The only exceptions are Kit Kat bars and gum packets. Place them on top of the rings. Ensure there are no empty spaces between the products. Arrange the large bottles upside down. For small beverage formats like these, place them where there are no product supports. If you don't have designated spaces for this purpose, you can remove them as follows. To configure prices, press the blue square button, Menu. Use these three keys to navigate through the menu. Press the asterisk button and find the option, Configure Prices. Enter the row number in Selection. To change the price, press Hash, enter the decimals and the desired price, and press hash. The selection is configured. It is possible to program the entire drawer at the same price in a single step. At the time of selection, enter the drawer number followed by the asterisk. If you want to customize the pictures on the LCD screen, there is a USB key provided for this purpose at the top of the door. The screen size is 5 by 9 inches vertically. The image format is 720 by 1280 pixels. Use lightweight files and leave some space on the USB key to maintain smooth image transitions. Check several times a year that there is no dust in the compressor. Clean regularly using a brush or broom and a vacuum cleaner. This will ensure the proper functioning of the refrigeration system in the long term. Congratulations! Your vending machine is now ready to operate.